Hello everyone. Welcome to another video of the ENT series. Today we are going to discuss facial pain. So let's start with the differential of facial pain. There are many differential of facial pain, but I have listed the most common and the most important one. Uh, so the first one is trigeminal neuralgia. The second one is sinusitis. Third one is joint cell arthritis. The fourth one is dental disease. And fifth one is trauma. Okay, so as you all know that the patient is presenting with facial pain, and as I've already told you that whenever the patient presents with any type of pain, the first thing that you need to ask is, can you please tell me a bit more about it? And the next thing that you need to ask is Socrates, okay? So Socrates is basically site of pain, onset, character of the pain. So you ask the patient, can you please describe this pain for me? Um, radiation, so does the pain go anywhere? Aggravating factor, does it, it worsen with anything? relieving factor so does it get better with anything and other symptoms so other symptoms are basically the questions of differential diagnosis so you'll ask the patient if he has suffered from any recent flu if he has experienced any recent flu any discharge from the nose or loss of smell if these symptoms are positive then it means that the patient is having sinusitis if these symptoms are negative then sinusitis is ruled out okay you will ask about pain on chewing or combing uh, or vision problems Okay, so if these if these are positive, then it means that the patient is having giant cell arthritis. You will ask about any shooting pain that is gets triggered with touch or washing face or chewing or cold air. If this is positive, then it means that the patient is having trigeminal neuralgia. So in trigeminal neuralgia, the patient experiences sudden, severe, episodic pain in the face and it gets aggravated with random things like even with light touch or washing face or even if the cold wind hits the air and the patient experience very severe pain and this pain is really really severe like 9 out of 10 or 10 out of 10 and the patient may be even suicidal because of this pain so trigeminal neuralgia is something that you need to look out for regarding dental problem you should ask that uh, do you have any pain in the teeth do you have any dental caries dental cavities etc and you should also ask about any trauma. So have you hurt your face recently? Okay. After this, you need to ask about past medical history, past history of the same problem. That is, have you ever experienced this before? And do you have any other medical condition? Then you will ask about meftosa. Meftosa mean medication, allergy, family history, and the psychosocial. What do you do for a living? And how is it affecting your job? How is it affecting your life, etc.? Then lifestyle question that is uh, cafe, cigarette smoking, alcohol, food and exercise then you should ask about any ideas concerns and expectations that the patient is having and after that you should verbalize your examination so examination include facial examination so examining the face in journal first of all you will do the vitals then you will examine the face in journal then you will examine the mouth from the inside and you should also uh, examine cranial nerves especially cranial nerve fifth and cranial nerve seventh okay after this uh you should start management. So as you all know, we start management by explaining the diagnosis to the patient. So in trigeminal neuralgia, you will explain to the patient that you have a condition of nerves that are responsible for the sensation in your face that causes a sharp shooting pain. It is called trigeminal neuralgia. Okay. Um, so the first thing that you need to do is to inform your seniors because this is a thing that is that cannot be treated in GP and we need to refer this patient. So you need to inform your seniors. Uh, you should order some investigations that include routine blood test and MRI scan. But MRI scan, you should refer to the neurologist and the neurologist will be doing MRI scan. Okay. You should start the patient on symptomatic treatment. Painkillers, paracetamol won't work. So something stronger like codeine. And, uh, and gabapentin especially, gabapentin is because gabapentin is for the neurological pain, although it takes some time to work. Tell the patient to note the triggers and avoid them. Then you will refer the patient to the neurologist and um, the neurologist will do an MRI to confirm the diagnosis and to rule out other stuff. And you will start the patient on anticonvulsant medication that is carbamazepine. Okay, after diagnosis and starting the patient on carbamazepine, the patient should follow up with GP. So that was all about trigeminal neuralgia. Now let's discuss sinusitis. So in sinusitis, we'll explain to the patient that we have air pockets inside our facial bone, and sometimes they get infected and cause facial pain, and it is called as sinusitis. Okay. Now sinusitis is basically a clinical diagnosis. You don't need to perform any test for sinusitis. You just need to examine the patient, 
examine the patient face and press on the sinuses, that is the uh, frontal sinus, the maxillary sinus, and there will be tenderness, and there will be symptom that will be, that will be suggesting sinusitis, so you will just examine the patient based on history and examination. There is no need to order x-ray initially. Okay, you will start the patient on symptomatic treatment that is painkiller, lots of fluids, lots of rest, and tell the patient that rinse nose with salt water and maybe antihistamine as well. So this uh, symptomatic treatment this should continue for one week because sinusitis is mostly viral and a lot of sinusitis cases should resolve with symptomatic treatment only. But you will tell the patient that if there is no improvement after one week, then please come back and we will do an x-ray of the sinuses for you and we'll start you on antibiotics and also some nasal drops, which are basically steroid nasal drops. Okay, so you will wait for one week. You will give symptomatic treatment for one week. Tell the patient that if no improvement after one week, then please come back. We will need to do an x-ray and give you antibiotic. When will you refer the patient to ENT? So if the patient presents with swelling of the face, okay, if the patient presents with swelling of the face, then it means that there is severe sinusitis and it has extended into the bone or the soft tissue and you will refer the patient to ENT immediately. And or if there is no improvement after three weeks, then it can mean that either it is fungal sinusitis or there is some other cause. Then you will refer to ENT for chronic sinusitis that is more than three months duration. And the ENT then might recommend surgery, which is called FES, that is functional endoscopic sinus surgery, okay? No need to tell the name of the surgery to the patient. Just if you have a chronic sinusitis patient, then tell him that we are going to refer you to ENT for surgery. Safety netting in sinusitis should be for meningitis, that is severe headache, and also preorbital and preceptal cellulitis. So you should uh, safety net the patient that if you get severe headache or you have any visual changes or swelling on the face or swelling around the eye, then please call 999 or go to the emergency department. So that was all about um, facial pain. I have already explained giant cell arthritis in the neurology series, and there is no need to explain dental disease because it's not related to PLAP and, tra and also trauma because it's not very common. So I hope it was helpful, and I will see you soon with, uh, with another video, and hopefully we'll cover the ENT series either today uh, or tomorrow.